welcome back to my channel so today i have done a wee video just showing you how i like to wing out my eyeshadow so if you would like to see how i did this wee look then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna zoom in whoa hello okay so i've already combed through my brows with the benefit 24 hour brow setter um and i've let that kind of dry down um, I'm not going to put anything in my eyebrows yet. I'm just going to go in with the Tate Louise base. My favourite in this is Romero 02, I believe. Yep, yeah, 02. Um, and I'm going to take some of that on this wee brush here. So this is one of the P. Louise brushes as well. So I'm going to focus. Yep, so this P. Louise brush. And you can see it's just got a really nice kind of flat top to it. So I'm just going to carve move my fringe out of the way first. I'm just going to go under my eyebrow and kind of carve it out. And you can see that just gives that a really nice kind of blank base. Um, get rid of any of the redness that's in this thing. So today I'm going to be using the Sosu Kaylee MUA um, Urban Bible Palette. And I'm going to start off with the shade Unruly, which is that shade there. And with that, I'm just going to take that on this one of the peaches and cream brushes, and this is PC22, I believe. It's just a wee, tiny wee blending brush like that. So with this, I'm going to... So I don't really do blending at this point. I just get the colour where I want it. So this one, I'm kind of following the crease. Um, and taking it slightly above as well. So you can see when I look forward you can still see that shade. And then I do slightly start to wing this one out a wee bit. But I don't take it out too far. So I'd kind of leave it about there. <laughs> See that writing or not? And again, it's just another wee small blending brush. And then I'm going to take the shade Sacred Fire from the palette, which is this wee guy here, and kind of do the same as what I did with the first shade, but just very kind of 50 50. So my brush is kind of half on the shade we used before and then half on the bare skin and again I'm not really blending with this shade I'm just popping the colour where I want it <laughs> and then again I am going to bring that out slightly more than we did with the shade before <laughs> With that one, I'm going to take that on. This is another P. Louise brush. This is the number 117 Too Lost in My Blend Brush. And just a wee blending brush like that. So I do take it quite high. I don't mind getting a bit of colour up in my eyebrow. Um, and because I've not done my eyebrows yet, it doesn't bother me. So again, following the shape we had before. But obviously just bringing it higher up. And there we go. So I know it's looking quite harsh in certain bits still. But I am going to go back in with the colour here. Um, the Sacred Fire colour and 
really start to kind of blend that colour. Um, I never really do circle motions at the end. Just because you're not wanting to kind of blend that colour up, you're wanting to blend it outwards. So blending is definitely a massive thing. Like blending is key, I would say, for your eyeshadow to look amazing. Um, because if you're not blending, then it will be very harsh and blocky. So now I'm just going to go in and cut the crease. So for cutting the crease I'm going to go in with the P. Louise and Mama Mitchell um, Acid Rain and this is Blank Canvas. So a good trick if you don't know how far to take the crease up is kind of pop a bit on, look up and then you can see um, how far up you need to take. Um, take the cut crease. So I never take it all the way around. I kind of stop it about there and then just go on with my finger and blend those edges obviously making sure you've not got any product actually on your finger when you're doing that because that would be a disaster <laughs> there you go so you can see i've cut that crease and um, so that when my eyes open you can still see it with the Peaches and Cream Rattlesnake Pigment. Just gonna off camera go in and put some black liner into my waterline and tightline the top of my eyes so I'll be back in a wee moment. So my lovely camera decided to stop filming and I didn't notice. Um but basically what I've done is I took the black right up to the lash line and then under that I took unruly, blended that out, and then um sacred fire and then faith underneath. Um and I kinda blended it all together with the um, line that was here and that's what gives it that nice kind of winged out effect um, so yeah I'm gonna go off camera just now and get the other eye done and then we'll be back okay I swear my next door neighbour must know when I'm filming because last week when I was filming my video he was out cutting the grass and I think he's out cutting the grass again. Okay. So I've got my base on. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with, this is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spiked. Here we go. I don't know if that's focusing. Are you focusing? I don't know. But anyway. So I've already got like the outline underneath from using the base earlier. So I actually quite like to kind of go straight in and draw the line at the bottom.
because the brow's done. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the So Suit and Kelly Lashes. And these are the Eagle ones. So I don't actually know if you can still get these anymore. Um, but I really like them. Um, I do love a big lash. But the only problem is I find they make me look really tired or drunk. So I like to go for something just a little bit less dramatic. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down to size um, against my eye because they're probably a bit too long. Um, and then I like to pop the wee glue on um, and leave that to kind of go tacky for, I usually leave mine for about a minute to let it go tacky. And then I will show you how I apply my lashes. Okay, so I've got the glue in and it's went tacky. So I like to get a wee handheld mirror and I look down into the mirror to apply my lash. So I just kind of place it on top like that. And I like to get the outer corner kind of in place first. And then go ahead and get the inner corner in place. <laughs> So I managed to brush my lip open when I was taking foundation off my lips earlier. Great. My lips have been so dry recently. I don't know if it's because I'm in the house a lot more than I usually am. But yeah, not great. And there we have it. So that is the look complete. I hope you have all learned some wee tips and tricks. Um, or if you're gonna give this a go for the first time, um, tag me in your wee pictures if they're on Instagram. I would love to see it if you guys create this wee look. Um, obviously, if you're having a go of it for the first time, then you don't need to go as bold um, with the colours as what I have done. You can do this with like just wee neutral like browns and golds and stuff like that as well. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you give this, if you liked it, give this video a wee thumbs up for me. Um, and if you could subscribe, then let me say that's always, always a nice thing. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Let me talk about how cute these earrings are. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. There we have about so that is the final look. Um I hope you learned it. Learned it? Oh my god. What? Oh I've hit record. I thought it was a fool. Oops. I hope you feel like some tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. <coughs> so you can see I've just popped <gasps> took um like the kind of what I try to say.